Hi everybody, Andrew Rice here, Director of Instruction out at Berkeley Hall. Today I've got Chris Young. Chris, thanks very much for joining me. Chris is the new Head Superintendent out at Berkeley Hall. Firstly, congrats on the position. Great job. Thank you. Today, Chris and I are going to collaborate and talk a little bit about what we call divot patterns, what I call divot patterns. And I'm not necessarily referring to the depth of the divots that you're taking, although I am a proponent of some nice shallow divots. We're going to talk a little bit today about how to use up the ground where you practice, how to use up that turf and what's the best way to get the most mileage out of that turf that you're using when you're practicing. Divot patterns. Chris, it seems to me like we've pretty much got three types of divot takers and we're going to take a look at each of these three types. We've got uh, the excavator, we've got the roamer and we've got the striper. So let's take a look. We're going to start out with the excavator. So Chris, the excavator, it seems to me that these golfers have invariably been to a tour event where they've seen these great players really clear cut this big square or rectangular patch of turf and there's nothing left. How does that work for what you do? Well, from a, a, a superintendent's point of view, uh, this is our least uh, preferred divot pattern. Uh, not only does it take a large area of turf out, it takes a long time for that turf to recover. And after the turf recovers, the surface is not smooth. It's a, it's a dip in the surface, so when the hitting stations return to that area, it's not a smooth surface, hitting surface, for the next golfer to use. Really, no, it doesn't sound like it's optimal in any way. Uh, the player might feel like they look good doing it and they know what they're doing, but really it doesn't work for the job that you have to do, Chris. It doesn't work for the person coming up behind them trying to practice, and even down the road it affects the turf adversely. Let's take a look now at what we call the roamer. So Chris, the roamer, I'll, I'll never forget, I had this one guy who was taking a lesson and he was, came to me for two days. And on day two, I ha actually had to put alignment rods on the ground behind him to stop him from taking up all the turf on my lesson tee. Uh, invariably, this is a person who, they don't clear cut an area, but they've got divots everywhere. How does this work for you? Well, the recovery time for this divot pattern is not so much an issue. It's, it's what happens after the first roamer hits, warms up, or practices on a tee. The, the following golfer uh, is forced to roam to find a hitting area. Yeah. So the, 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 uh, the, the first roamer creates a chain reaction and everyone who uses that area after the roamer has to roam the whole area, ends up using a bigger space uh, while warming up and practicing. So, so really not a very courteous practicer. Correct. Essentially somebody who's going to use up a large, not necessarily destroy, but just take out of commission a large area when they're hitting golf balls, um, they're going to make it difficult for the person coming up behind them to have a good experience. Let's take a look at the person we like, the striper. Okay. Now Chris, the striper to me is somebody that really knows what they're doing. They understand how to practice, how to get the most out of the turf that they're using, and still be courteous to the person coming up behind them. What should it look like? Uh, the, 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 stripe, the striper is a uh, small, narrow uh, line, uh, about 24 inches long. Okay. And this, uh, this type of divot pattern is the most friendliest to the superintendent and to the golfers that are following him. It's a real compacted area, so they don't use up a lot of space. It's uh, narrow, so it's quick to recover. It takes three to four days to recover from a, from a striker uh, divot pattern. And uh, this is what we prefer as superintendents and is, is what gives the next golfer the best surface to hit off of. Really, so, so what the striper does is they don't use a lot of space and they give the grass that ability to be able to heal up very quickly. Um, it certainly is something that I would encourage everybody to do. We're going to take a look at it in a minute. But generally what we would look for, Chris, and correct me if I'm wrong here, we would look for, let's say someone's hitting for quite a while, um, two very narrow stripes, strips of turf that the player's taken out, as you said, about two feet long, 
with a club head width of grass left between each of the two stripes. Correct. We're going to take a look at how to practice that way. It's going to help your game. It's going to help certainly what Chris has to do and it's going to be better for the golfer coming up behind you. So what we're looking for is as follows. You've got an alignment rod. Most people have them in their bags. We've got them all over out here at Berkeley Hall. You want to place your ball up towards the front end of the alignment rod. You're going to go ahead and hit your initial shot. Hopefully take a little bit of a divot. Not a big fan of too much divot. As you see there, I scuffed up the grass. Now we're going to pull the next ball into play. And the right way to do this, and, and Chris has certainly educated me with doing this, is to just get your golf ball on the back edge of that divot that you've just taken. So get your ball on the back edge. That way when I come through and I take another scuff or another divot, I'm just taking up an inch of turf. So I can be a lot more efficient with my practice in preserving this turf and giving the people behind me a better practice experience. So Chris, there we have it. Uh, some good information for you. Go out, start practicing properly. Who wouldn't want to look cool? The thing about this, you really look like you know what you're doing. You're going to aim better, you're going to take better divots, you're going to make Chris's job easier, you're certainly going to make my job easier, and the person coming up behind you is going to have a better practice experience. Who wouldn't want that? Chris, appreciate you coming down. Thank you, Andrew. Thanks a lot. Let's do some more. Okay? Sounds good.